Superstar gymnast Simone Biles was in action again today in Tokyo, while China has continued its impressive form in the diving competition. For more, let's head to Tokyo. So Paul Biles was back in action today on the beam and she took home a bronze, I understand. Yeah, a uh, hugely anticipated return to action for the American superstar. Uh, after, of course, she took a break to focus on her mental health, but she was consummately upstaged by uh, two Chinese beam specialists, 16-year-old uh, Guan Chen Chen. Uh, she took the gold and Tang uh, Shi Jing, she uh, snagged silver, leaving Biles, as you mentioned, with the bronze. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people just glad to see her back in some capacity at these games. She was really held up as like the star of these games. IOC chief uh, Thomas Bach was even in attendance and he, he was sure to congratulate her afterwards. So yeah, glad to see her back at the games, but she was, uh, it wasn't to be, it wasn't to be a, a fairy tale, a fairy tale comeback. Mm -hmm. Bronze, bronze is fine. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure she's happy that she's been able to get back out there and you know, third place in the world is amazing. But China has also continued their dominance in the diving as well, not just the gymnastics. Yeah, that's right. Uh, five out of the six diving medals competed so far at the Games have gone to China now. Um, as a Brit, I'd like to note that the only one they haven't won was the one that was won by Tom Daly and Matty Lee, of course. Um, but, you know, China dominates diving. They have done for years. Um, and well, they already have topped the medal tally for this games, even with two more events still to go. But today it was the uh, three meter synchro uh, diving superstar from China, Xi. Uh, he's the reigning world champion and he added the Olympic gold to his pile. His partner uh, who he won the three meter synchro with um, earlier in the games, Wang Zongyuan, he took home silver. Uh, another Brit took home the bronze. Um, but the, the two Chinese guys, it was a phenomenal performance for them. And right at the end of the whole competition, it was a long competition, quali, semi-final. And in the final, they each produced the best dives uh, of, the whole, of the whole competition. It was a, a, a real statement victory for China today in the diving pool. That's amazing. And uh, you were out covering the boxing today, I understand. And the Philippines have picked up a silver medal their fourth silver medal in history, I believe, in boxing. Yeah, that's right. Nesty Pasesio. Um, she was upset by a 20 year old Tokyo girl, Sina Iri. Um, it was it was the biggest undoubtedly the biggest win of, of the Japanese girl's career. But it's fair to say that Patesio let a golden chance slip through her fingers here. She was well fancied. She's the world, world champion at this weight, featherweight. Um, and the Philippines have been really um, confident that their boxing dream team was going to deliver some medals for them. Of course, silver's nothing to be sniffed at, but she would have been looking to take the gold. It's fair to say it was a dreadful fight as well. Very sloppy, no real fluidity, scrappy fight. But in the end, just by virtue of being taller, more rangy, being able to stand away from Patricio, uh, Erie, Erie got the nod on the judges' scorecard. It's not over for the Philippines. Um, they still have two um, top medal prospects in boxing. Um, one of them made his way into the semi-finals today, Carlo Palam. He, he beat the reigning Olympic champion to make it to the last four. And they also have Umir Martial. Uh, he's constantly being, no, I wouldn't say compared to Manny Pacquiao, but he's being called the next Manny Pacquiao. They've, they've got high hopes for him. And uh, he fights in the middleweight semi-final on Thursday. So still two very strong medal hopes for Philippines in the boxing. Now, things don't look like they're going Hong Kong's way at the moment in the table tennis. You've been keeping a close eye on that. No, that's right. I'm trying to watch it out the corner of my eye while I'm speaking to you. Hong Kong are really struggling. Uh, they're two nil down in, in uh, against Japan, of course. It's best of five. So, And they're nine five down in the third singles match. Uh, Hong Kong are probably going to lose, in all fairness. Um, you know, they were always up against it, against the second seeded Japanese team um, who won bronze in Rio. Um, so it's gone with the form book, I'm afraid. It looks like Hong Kong are going to be competing for the bronze medal, um, which will, I think those games will be on Thursday. Uh, they will play either China 
or Germany who are competing in the other semi-final match. Probably safe to say it could be Hong Kong against Germany for a bronze medal on Thursday, where while uh, Japan and China battle it out for the gold. Well, all eyes will be on that. Hopefully Hong Kong can bring home yet another medal. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Cheers.